Makita 18 volt jigsaw. Now, depending on what part of the world you're in, this is the DJV 180. Z meaning it's just the tool or skin, no batteries and charger and case and that sort of stuff. But if you're elsewhere in the world, this might be an XVJ03Z. Anywho, let's take a look. So, unboxing this puppy. Very basic looking box. Let's have a look. Usual guff, warranty, poster, instructions. And there she is. Already I can feel that's quite heavy. What else have we got in here? Some blades, three, no, six. Yeah, six blades. So you get a couple of metal cutting blades there, and then some fine and coarse wood cutting blades. And that appears to be it. Not a lot. So let's get rid of that. Look at that. So this is Makita Jigsaw, as I've said, 18 volt. It is the brushed version, not the brushless. Now, the main differences between the brushed and the brushless, apart from the brushed or brushless motor, is that on the brushless one, you've got a speed control here. And so the speed control go from between 800 and 3600. Whereas this will go between 0 and 2600, so it's a lot slower um, and doesn't have the speed control. Um, the other difference is this is slightly heavier, about 200 grams heavier than the brushless. Um, the brushless is slightly longer by about 10 mil. So not that that will make a huge amount of difference, unless you're in a super tight space. Um, so yeah, this one's slightly shorter, but slightly heavier. The brushless, I do believe, has, when you put the blade in, very similar to the new um, reciprocating saw, where you just shove the blade straight in, you don't have to open this up. On this one, you have to open it each time when you want to put the blade open, put the blade in, shove. No biggie, but it'll save you a few seconds if you really need it. Okay, anyway, let's have a look at the features of this particular tool. Oh, one of the other things that the brushless does that this one won't do. Is the brushless, you can have it as a soft start. So it'll just be going slowly, and when it feels the resistance of the wood, or whatever it is you're cutting, it'll crank up to a preset speed that you've got on it. Which, that'd be quite cool. A bit better control. Um, but, brushless is more expensive. It's newer technology than these. Um... And it was next to 100 bucks in this one, so that's why I've got this. <laughs> so let's have a look at this anyway. So we've got a, as you can see, a plastic cover on the base here. Which isn't, isn't the flashiest thing, to be honest. But it's probably better than what was on this Hitachi jigsaw, which is supposed to be this super flash and strong chrome nickel bloody thing or something. The first time I used it on metal, it basically just peeled half of it off, so wasn't too impressed with that. This is a lot lighter. This Hitachi is substantially lighter. Let's just have a look at the weight section. Let's see how heavy this is. On the website, this is stated as 2.8 kgs. Let's have a look here. So 2.8 is obviously with the battery because there's only 2.3 there. I'll chuck on a battery, and ooh, we're up to 2.9, yeah, just over 2.9 kgs, that's pretty heavy, it's pretty heavy, so 2.9 kgs with the battery, the Hitachi, oh, it's going to be a lot less, with the battery, 2.4, so 500 grams less, and that's a, these are heavy batteries, so without the battery, look at that, she's only 1,700. So that's a lot lighter. 1700 grams versus 2300. 600 gram difference there. It's quite a lot. This is, this is quite a light beast now I'm realizing. P 
compared to this, that is quite heavy. This feels a lot more solid, a lot stronger. The base and everything feels a lot better. I think overall it's a better build than this Hitsachi is. Time will tell, of course. Trigger, pretty basic. Two finger trigger there. Got a lock on and off. It's the trigger locks. So, put in the Oh, on the bottom here, you've got a splinter guard thing, which I don't think I'll use too often. I mean, the first things I use, I'll probably end up smashing that, so take, take that out. But keep that if you're doing fine stuff, laminates and things, and you want to try and protect them as much as possible. Uh, so, what else have we got? In the back here, we've got a tool. This wee Allen key is for adjusting the base. Whacker in there, if it fits, and then you can adjust the base, so if you want to angle, do angled cuts, slide backwards and forwards, and side to side like so, if you want to do some mean angles, miters, so you can miter with it, take that back up, Done that straight. Straight enough for the moment. So let's put a blade in it. Let's look at these Makita blades here. Choose one at random. Okay, so on the brushless, you'll be able to just poke that straight in there, but as you can see, you can't do it with this model. So you need to flick that open. And then you need to drop your blade on the ground. Let's grab another blade. So if you have a look, you can see there. See that opening and closing? It goes from a short slot to a wide slot. So when it's on the wide slot, that's when you bung your blade in, of course. In like so, let go, and she's locked in. Pretty simple. Much better than the one on the Hitachi. Okay, that's how that works. So, another feature check on the battery. You can see there, light. doesn't stay on when you let go of the trigger like a lot of the tools do now, but it's not really necessary on this tool anyway. You get a variable speed trigger. Pretty good. Much quieter than this. Right, so this little switch here, as it is at the moment, it is doing standard straight cutting. Blades just going up and down, and that's good for cutting. Fine stuff, laminates, fine plywood, um, metal, stainless, that sort of thing. If you want to crank up and really power through your timber, you just want to rip through some stuff, or you're just cutting up stuff that's not quite so important to have a nice finish, you can dial this dial here, and that puts an orbital action into the tool. So right at the front, no orbit, and then a little bit of orbital right up to full level tool. So if you have a look at this the wheel here, you'll notice uh, you won't because there's no blade on it. I'll have to put a blade in. So we'll work in the blade.
Notice that is now swinging. Non orbital action, orbital action. Nothing, nothing visible there. Sure, it's visible on the other one. Let's have a look at the um, Hitachi here. Now the Hitachi way of putting it in isn't as nice. Yeah, you can't really notice it much on that one either. You can, you can see it is vibrating back and forth. So you can notice it on that one. Strangers don't notice it on this one. Maybe it's only kick in if there's pressure applied. Oh, it's much quieter. Hmm, interesting. I have to go do some cut tests. So I've had a look at it now, and another interesting thing actually about this that I've just noticed. Take that out. I'll flick this off. Now this will take all the all the star batteries. So all the new three, four, five, and six amp hour batteries. So yeah, if you look on here, you will see that it is made in the United Kingdom. So you don't see that on too many tools these days. So that is made in the UK. My um, the Makita uh, orbital sander is also made in the UK. I know that most of them these days are, of course, made in China. So there she is. That's the DJV 180Z. Um, it doesn't come with a rip fence. The rip guide used for running along the edge timber to get a straight cut or for making circles they don't give you one of the buggers cheapskates 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 anywho such is life I've got a few of them down the garage so it won't be a problem right thanks for watching as usual um, I guess I should go put this to the test Go cut a few bits of wood. Uh, haven't got a brushless one to compare it to at the moment, but I can compare it to the Hitachi one, which I've never really liked to be honest. Uh, trying to cut circles and things with that has just been a dog. And I've had so many problems with it jumping out of the guide here and uh, yeah. Never been all that happy with that. It's probably been my least favorite Hitachi battery tool. Hopefully this Makita makes me a little bit happier. It's a little bit more powerful, a couple of hundred more strokes per minute. Um, did I say strokes per minute earlier? Did I say RPM? Hmm. Anyway, strokes per minute. So, oh, look out. So, I'll go give her a test and see how she cuts.